We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina, provide our opinions to them here on our web blog, and also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dogs North Carolina. Today we're going to drink and review the Carolina Blonde Cream Ale out of the Foothills Brewery, which is located in Winston-Salem. They say they believe that drinking truly fresh beer is one of the great pleasures of life. They invite all beer lovers to stop and chat with Brewmaster Jamie and see what he's up to. They're located at 638 West 4th Street in Winston-Salem. They describe the Carolina Blonde. Well, if you need that, now we know exactly where it is. Go chat with them. Here's the address. That's where they are. Going down there. They describe the Carolina Blonde as two row barley, a hint of wheat, and noble hops make the Carolina Blonde exactly what a craft brew American cream ale should be. So this should be the standard bearer. Okay. Clean, refreshing flavor, rich golden color, and unmistakable smoothness. Brewed right here in North Carolina. It comes in at an ABV of 4.3 and has a 15 IBU. Which is really, really low for a hoppiness. So, so it's going to be smooth. It's going to be, be smooth. It's going to be. And it's, it's session like because we are below the ceiling for that. So we're below 4.5. So if we like it, we can sell it and drink a lot. Damn right. All right. <laughs> See, so it, it poured. Uh, it poured right. the head, not, not a lot of head retention. But pretty um, effervescent though. There's some good bubbles coming up, but yes. it didn't do much on the yep. head though. Huh? No, no, I tried. I, yeah, it's, um, there you go. I'm gonna fix. Ag agitate a little, little bit. There you go. See, there you go. Look at that. If you pour it aggressively, it does all right. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> boom. It's beautiful, light, yeah. very light, golden. Yeah. It's got like a corn, a, a corn color to it. A brightness to it, that's yeah. right. Br bright golden. Not a lot of aroma. No. <laughs> oh, my aroma. Very, very, very limp, very. I started to say, well, my aroma or is off. No, aromator. Ar ar <laughs> <laughs> Do you like getting any aroma? No. no uh, it's like just really very, very bright, minimal. Light. Very, very minimal. Okay. And so. I wouldn't even say, I don't want to say it's a malt, but slight, slight bitter aroma. The, the taste is more substantial than the aroma for sure. Um, hmm. Hmm. Now remember they said, clean, refreshing flavor, rich, golden color, got the color right, unmistakable smoothness. It is well balanced. There's nothing oh. that jumps out at you. Flavor-wise, as far as something strong on one end or to continue working no, the other. No, no, I'm getting a, a slight, uh, I, I, not a hoppy bitter aftertaste, just a slight bitter aftertaste. Uh, I wouldn't attribute it to a hoppiness because it's very smooth. A lot of effervescence. Um, How about the mouthfeel on the cream and the cream ale? It, I'm, that, I'm it's, not, it's not very creamy to me. Right, no. But but maybe more than, than some some but yeah. Well, I will tell you that I do think it's very much a session beer in the sense of nothing overpowers you on your palate, no. such that you would get tired of this beer. Uh, if you're looking for a unique on the range of some super duper flavor somewhere, mm -hmm. this is not what you want. If you want to settle in and drink some beer, right? This is probably. Very drinkable over a long period of time. Oh yeah, they said a hint, a hint of wheat yeah. and noble hops. It's, it's, it's very more benign. Uh, benign. No, I'd say it's a, I should, I'm thinking more, just like it looks, the corn flavor. Mm -hmm. A very strong version of that, but not overwhelming. I mean, I guess for the beer because it is a cream ale. Right. Um, so I'm not seeing the creaminess. I'm getting. And of course, you don't get the hot bitterness because it's not supposed to have hot bitterness. Right. It doesn't. Right. It's, it's like the corniness. <laughs> it's right. like, That's right. That's not that That's right. Well. Uh, no, it's pleasant to drink. I think they've um, produced what they said they produced, and for that reason, I'd give it a bomber. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, the flavor is mellow. Um, it's definitely a, ses a session beer. Mm -hmm. You know, pop it on the couch, open up a bottle or a few. Um, so, I would give it a bomber because it's it's a pleasant, you know, a nice way to sit and chill with it. And how bad can something called a Carolina Blonde be? <laughs> I mean, you know, with a lighthouse and everything on it. 
Depends on the Carolina Blondes on the beach. Carolina Blonde, take it to the beach. <laughs> um, remember to provide us with what you think about what we're doing, some feedback. The people at uh, Foothills would love to know what you think. And go out and visit Jamie on 4th Street in Winston-Salem. Damn it. Tell them what you think when you're in Winston-Salem about what his beer is. Uh, again, remember, drink local. Keep your beer large in North Carolina. And until next time, we'll catch you later, bud.